Today I'm going to show you how to take attendance through Synergy. There are two different ways to take attendance with Synergy. One is through the chart view and one is through the list view. I will show you both methods. And also talk about the actual chart itself. With new students coming in, sometimes there's not enough room for all students to be on the chart. I'll show you how to expand the chart as well. So let's log in. You'll have all your notifications with health conditions and other important information about your students. So when you're in the class, you want to mouse over the attendance tab and you either select chart or list. I'll show you chart first. Once I click on chart, the menu changes to taking attendance. And there are also information about your students, some health conditions, if they need to wear glasses or if they need an inhaler or any other uh, medical condition. There's also another symbol that can be talking about the student custody information. So let's take attendance. There are three different marks when you're taking attendance. If the student is in the classroom, you leave that student alone. You don't make any mark. So they are present. So if Louisa is absent, let's click on it once, and UNV pops up. UNV means unverified, and unverified will be changed by the office staff. Once there is information, if the student has an excused absence or an unexcused absence. And you could also scroll down a little bit further. So if Sydney walks in five minutes late, click on it once, click on it twice, click it on it three times to get tardy. But if for some reason the student is tardy 30 minutes or later, you're going to click on the student until it shows 30 T. That means that the student is tardy 30 minutes or later. Or if you clicked on a student and you realize, oh, I accidentally clicked on the wrong student, you can click on it until it says tardy and then click it one more time and then the tardy will disappear. And when there's nothing in front of the student, that means that the student is present. Once you are good to go, you can hit save attendance is saved. The second way to take attendance is to take it through list view. Mouse over the attendance tab again. Click list this time. To mark a student absent, click on the student's name. If they are tardy, click on it until you see TDY. If they are tardy 30 minutes or later, you're going to click on the student until it says 30T. If for some weird reason the last three students are all tardy at the same time, 30 minutes tardy, you can click on the down arrow button, it'll fill out 30T for every student that is alphabetically below that particular student that we selected. And it doesn't necessarily have to be 30T, it could be TDY for tardy or unverified. And you can hit save or save and return back to the chart view. Sometimes when you log into Synergy and you have a new student and there's not enough seats to fill in the new students, that means that you need to expand the chart. Right now I have I have a total of 20 students, but only 17 students are in the chart view. There's a way to fix that. You want to click on edit. You can adjust the chart right now. You can count one through five, okay? Four, five by four, and you have 20 students. So we want to fill in the rest of the students. You can expand this. So now it's six by four, and maybe six by five. Now you have all these open spots on your roster. So the three students that are not assigned right here, you can fill it alphabetically, you can fill it randomly, you can randomize it for a seating chart. So I'm going to click on fill alpha. When I do that, the three students that were not on the chart are all on the chart here. So now we are good to go alphabetically. And when you are ready to save it, just hit save and you're good. And that's how you take attendance through the chart view, the list view, and to adjust your chart when you don't see all of your students. Thank you.